MatthewEducator.com's course on music history. I hope you survived the last lecture on motets. I know it's a bit of a doozy. It's uh, some pretty heady stuff. There's a lot of math in there and a lot of some, pre some pretty crazy terms. So hopefully this one will kind of uh, let you sit back and relax a little bit and maybe have some fun. Troubadours. What's a troubadour? Good question. Well, in short, the singing minstrel. Really, the singing minstrel. Think Robin Hood, think men in tight tights. And you have the troubadour. Um, just to get us going on this, immediately I want you to um, watch the clip of Monty Python, Brave Sir Robin. It's um, in the quick note, so just pause right now and watch it. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I love it because he's brave Sir Robin. He follows Robin Hood around and basically just plays some instruments and sings about what's going on. And this is where you get sort of the pop culture uh, definition of a troubadour or a minstrel as sort of a gesture or a joker, sort of a uh, kind of funny guy who, who sings songs about life and whatever, really. The reality of it is the troubadour served um, a major role in the development of polyphony because they traveled. This is a traveling musician. The minstrel traveled. They went from town to town. They Maybe where they were in a court with somebody and they followed behind them singing at each town or village they stopped at. So because they were employing certain techniques that they had learned, such as from maybe they lived in France, near Notre Dame. They picked up some of the polyphony there. Then they traveled throughout all of Europe and everywhere they went, they influenced people. Well, the troubadour, what we call a troubadour, um, back at this time was actually an illiterate person of the lower class. So when we see this guy here, we're actually talking about someone named a trouvere. 